We afford this house and these cars because we make over six figures a year getting trolled. TikTok shop actually paid me £10,000 for two hour live stream. We have hate websites oh, dedicated yeah, yeah, to us yeah. actually. They just can't get over the fact that I'm fat and she's skinny. People like beached whale. I mean, come on. I'm not a whale, I'm a human being. People have said things like, if I ever see you in public, I'm gonna throw in your face. And we get judged as parents. And they say that I look aggressive and that I like abuse my child. Welcome to Buckingham Palace, our mansion. <laughs> come on in, come on in. It's massive, isn't it? It's huge. Biggest house you've ever lived I actually in. built that playground myself as well. He did build well. that. It took me about two and a half weeks. So back when I was living in Australia, I was watching people just do nothing. When he came on the screen that first time, I was like, <laughs> that is my ideal man. He's so hot. So I ended up Googling him. I got a little ding on Instagram and I see this lady pop up and I thought, mm, is this a scam? <laughs> the moment we first met, obviously we were majorly attracted to each other. We just clicked straight away. It was like true love. It sounds so corny, but when you know, you know. This is the office. This is where I do all my tech live streams from basically. So I'm normally being there like, come on guys, it's 89.99, 89.99. It's going be incredibly insane if you don't miss out on this one. That big bargain. And that's how it goes, basically. I'm set on Santa. Oh, <laughs> what do you want for Christmas this year? Oh, there's so much this <laughs> lesson time. With our TikTok careers, they're actually very different. Sienna is kind of like the stereotypical social media influencer. Whereas me, I'm the hard seller and I basically do live streams every day, selling products. Some months I've made, what, 30,000 pounds in a month. We've made so much more money from social media that we never thought we would ever make. My favorite shoes. Wow. And here you can come see my favorite bags. This was a birthday. That was a Valentine's day. This was her obsession one time. I would estimate I've probably spent around £5,000 or more on Sylvanians. Yeah, when George yeah. knows I like something, he goes insane and yeah. he, he just buys everything. Am I insane or is she insane? I mean, look at it. When you realise that you can make a lot of money from just working at home and still being able to be a parent and be with your child, why wouldn't you? You know, mm. I don't want to go work a nine to five if I can sit at home and make a thousand pounds a day and still be with my son. My son is Oliver. He's a cheeky little four year old. He's the best kid ever. I'm going to show you guys one of Oliver's three playrooms. Oh, yes. The first room we have here is the dress up room. Cowboy, oh, here we Yeehaw. go, cowgirl. Do we think Oliver's spoil? Well, I know he has three yeah. playrooms, but we're kind of giving him the childhood that we didn't have. Exactly. And I think because we're not from wealth, he will grow up with an understanding that he is very privileged and we've worked hard to give him this life. People have said really hurtful things to us about us as parents. I, we have hate websites oh, dedicated yeah, yeah, to us, yeah. actually. They say that like I, I look aggressive and, and that I like abuse my child. People visually can see that I'm fat, and that is a problem for a lot of people. But I think a, a lot of it comes from jealousy because they see my wife and think, wow, she's very attractive, why can't I have that? People have said things like, if I ever see you in public, I'm gonna throw in your yeah. face. People have threatened to R word me. It's just the most disgusting, vile people in society. It's quite disturbing. I think being on social media, when the wrong people know where you live, they might think that they do something bad. The whole house is CCTV'd up, um, night vision cameras. I've got the ID spray, which is a bit like pepper spray in the car, and I've got it in my bags. All right, George, I'm just gonna get changed. Because we do live in an upper class kind of area now, we do worry sometimes that maybe we're being judged in this area because majority of the parents at school are doctors and lawyers and accountants and obviously we're on social media. Oh yes, baby, very nice. What do you think? Very nice indeed. Yeah, oh, you're looking good. I feel a little bit overdressed now. I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care at all, to be honest with you. I pay my taxes, we pay for private healthcare, we pay for council tax, we're the same as anyone else. Lights off. Bloody energy bills right now, they need to be off, I tell you that. I do always get a little bit anxious when we go out because people are judgmental sometimes. Some people try and take photos in a distance of me and my wife and my son and 
I've had a few altercations and stuff. I do feel quite anxious sometimes when I go out with George because we get so many threats online that sometimes I do think, what could actually happen? I notice people staring at us a lot when we're out. I notice it every single time we go out, to be honest. They just can't get over the fact that I'm fat and she's skinny. Yeah, it does make me feel quite uncomfortable yeah. and nervous to go out, but it's been like that ever since I got with George. Yeah. And that's the individual's problem, that's not our problem. We get a lot of nice people come up to us as well when we're out, you know, we get a lot of supporters coming up to us. I think the positivity outside weighs up higher than what the negativity does. Right, gonna take my top off. That's what gets the views with these people. Ah, right. So I've been losing weight for some time now. I've actually lost eight and a half stone. Um, predominantly by calorie deflex. I've introduced exercise and I now do 60 minutes on a treadmill every single day as well. Ah! I want to live to enjoy the money and enjoy the life and watch my son grow up. Oh gosh, getting that sweat in right now. Burning calories, that's what I want to do. I'm so proud of George. I really am like blown away by how well you've done. <laughs> the trolling never had an impact on me wanting to lose weight. For four years now, I've had people tell me, you need to lose weight, get fit, do that. It's down to me as a person to decide when I want to do it and when I don't want to do it. Every day I probably do between three and five live streams a day. The main reason why I'm topless when I do it is because I'm seeking to attract views. But I also do it just so I don't get my clothes sweaty. Obviously I'm making money from it and I'm getting healthy so there's many benefits from doing it. But it is a hard game to be part of, especially when you've got all these people against you. Me and my wife built up an account to 1.1 million followers but she recently got that banned on TikTok, unfortunately. People mass report. We're all done, guys. Oh, gosh, hell's sweating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah it's hard because you're f talking the whole time. Yeah. You have to do it or else people won't f buy it. Well, some of the comments are still alive. I've just seen some here. It says, why does he have two butts? I mean, come on. It's like, how has he managed to get an attractive looking girlfriend? And this is just within the past couple of minutes. You know, like, this isn't even, this is, like, if I went to some of our viral, viral TikToks, I feel like she's being held captive. People like, beached whale. I mean, come on. I'm not a whale, I'm a human being. Honestly, let's have a look at some nice ones for a change. Looking great, George. Oh, you've got this girl. He's a great catch. See? I'm oh, not just a whale. Yeah, I'm a catch. I agree. God. I agree. I think the worst judgment that we have is probably when people judge our parenting because in reality, everything we do is for our son and exactly, we give him yeah. everything in the world. We prioritize him as number one. Yeah. And, and the reason we do these silly things and make ourselves look like idiots is for him. Yeah, to give him a good chance in life. We're like three best yeah. friends, aren't we? We're all like kids together. We're like enjoying ourselves, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> George has completely changed my life for the better. Before I met him, I don't think I ever experienced like real happiness. <laughs> but then like meeting you and having Oliver has been like the best life I could have ever imagined. Like yeah. I feel so lucky. She's an amazing mum. She cares about him so much and she does everything from the minute we wake up to the minute we go to bed, you know. She always prioritises us. <laughs> there we go, real tears there. Oh my God. <laughs> I think what we would say to people who judge us is we're just a family, we're living our life, we're trying to make the most out of life and we're trying to succeed the most we can as well. I love you. You love mommy oh. and daddy. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs>